This is Memorial Season 2009, and Jehovah's Witnesses are observing the anniversary of Jesus' death. After Memorial 2007, the Watchtower broke the seal on who could partake of the bread and wine. Among witnesses, only those who hope to go to heaven drink the wine and eat the unleavened bread. The roll call is limited to 144,000, counting from Jesus' death to present. While the Watchtower claim the pearly gates basically closed in 1935, the number of partakers kept increasing. Then the Watchtower changed the rules. We cannot set a specific date for when the calling of Christians to the heavenly hope ends. To emphasize that, two men claiming the heavenly calling were promoted to the governing body. Both men were in their 50s, young enough to raise more than a few eyebrows among the congregations. Just as Watchtower comments predicted, witnesses followed suit with a nibble and sip. 2008 saw the greatest increase in living memory, with 881 more partakers than 2007. Why does this number continue to lurch up, almost a 10% increase, when the general growth of Jehovah's Witnesses was only 2.1% worldwide? The ramifications are serious, because local congregations do not count guests or disfellowship people who nibble and sip. This confirms that practicing Witnesses, many with positions of responsibility, are bucking the logic of their doctrine and following what their heart tells them, that they are going to heaven. The number 144,000 is not budging, but it is bulging, since Watchtower teaching also says that the 144,000 started counting after Jesus' death, and all true Christians for the following 19 centuries were included in this number. Wait, that can't be right. Yes, it is. For 19 centuries, there was only the one calling, the heavenly one, with Jehovah being very selective as to who would serve with his son to make up the kingdom government. Many would be invited, but only a precious few chosen. You're saying that in all 1,900 years after Jesus, there were fewer than 144,000 faithful Christians? In time, the prescribed but limited number of 144,000 would be reached. After this, no more would be anointed by Holy Spirit as witness that they had the heavenly hope. Unless, in a rare occurrence, the unfaithfulness of one of the remaining chosen ones made a replacement necessary. But you did change your mind on that. Yes, it was believed that the heavenly calling ceased in 1935. Now we cannot set a specific date for when the calling of Christians to the heavenly hope ends. And am I correct that 2008 counted the largest number of partakers since 1977? Yes, 9,986 in 2008. But didn't you just print that the anointed are decreasing? Yes, the number of anointed ones on the earth has decreased over the decades. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, I did say decades. More than three decades? 30 years? And how do you explain the huge increases of the last few years? It could be that some are newly baptized, or it could be an emotional response to uh, mental strain. You actually printed that? Yes, right here. Well, the implications are serious. There is no need for any of us to be concerned if a person begins to partake of the emblems. Really? It is really not up to us whether someone actually has been anointed with Holy Spirit and called to heavenly life or not. Even if it contradicts your evidence that these are the last days? Oh, that the number has been getting smaller is convincing evidence that we are living in the last days? I did write that. Are Jehovah's Witnesses experiencing the beginnings of a schism, not from disgruntled ex-members, but from the most faithful of their core membership? Is it possible to reconcile the literal number 144,000 with all the anointed Christians in history, especially since almost 10,000 of them profess to be alive today? Considering there were 50,000 partakers in 1935, that would leave less than 100,000 for the previous 1,900 years. Will the Watchtower shift its teaching again? And will that be light from God? Or because the congregations are voting with their wine glasses? Right now, the Watchtower is in a corner. Either the number 144,000 is symbolic, or most witnesses that nibble and sip are frauds. My bet? Expect another huge increase in 2009. There is every reason to believe that the number of anointed ones will continue to decline.
as advanced age and unforeseen occurrences end their earthly lives. Watchtower Comments is produced by an active Jehovah's Witness. All videos available on iTunes and watchtowercomments.com. Now Twittering. <laughs>